It was not my intention to speak today. But you weren't having a bar of it. I was quite happy to leave today's words to the incoming Prime Minister of Aotearoa New Zealand, Chris Hipkins. And what beautiful words they were. Exactly what I think we all needed to hear today. My friend Chippy. So I will be brief today. Firstly, I just wanted to acknowledge how important it is for me to be here amongst mana whenua, but particularly it feels special to be here with my whanau from Ngāti Haua. I thought I was being beautifully composed until I clocked Te Ao Mara Maraka. Te Ao Mara Maraka. You're so special to me to see you here today, it's wonderful. It also feels special and symbolic to be here at Rafina and for this to be officially my last event as the Prime Minister of New Zealand. And special for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if you're going to leave, I say leave with a brass band. And if you're going to leave with a brass band, leave with the brass band from Rafina. It also feels special to be here with my colleagues. I can say, hand on heart, this is a group of exceptional people who have the privilege of leading New Zealand. I never did this job alone. I did it alongside these wonderful servants to New Zealand. And I leave knowing that you are in the best of hands. I pay particular attention and special mentions to Chris Hipkins and Carmel Cipollone. I've known them for many years, particularly Chris, going on 20 at last count. And Calvin Davis is right. You knew me as auntie. I hope you know him as Chippy. Because it speaks to who he is as a person. Personable, down to earth, practical and good with tools. Chippy, you're a colleague and friend to us all, but I know you'll be a wonderful Prime Minister, and people have heard that here today. It's especially wonderful to sit alongside so many colleagues who have special connection to Gartner. And I've had the opportunity to build that over the years as well. This was one of the first places I came when I announced that I was having a baby. And it was with some trepidation that I shared that news with New Zealand, but when I came here, you greeted me with the wonderful gift of the first name to be offered to Clark and I. Waru. Now, whilst we did not take that name, I hope you knew that when we chose Te Araha, that felt like it also was emblematic of the love that we felt here and around New Zealand when we had Neve Te Araha. So thank you. I also leave knowing that you have eight harakeke that on one of my visits were left here, and so in a way you have a small piece of me. But as leader of the Labour Party, I only carry the baton for a time. The relationship between Ratana and Labour is much deeper than individuals, and it will carry and continue and be strengthened. My final departing thoughts. There's been a little bit of discussion since I made my announcement about my resignation. You've heard a little bit of it here today. For my part, I want you to know that my overwhelming experience in this job of New Zealand and New Zealanders has been one of love, empathy and kindness. That is what the majority of New Zealand has shown to me. And I want you to know that I leave 
with a greater love and affection for Aotearoa New Zealand and its people than when I started. And I didn't think that was possible. So my final words are this. Nā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the greatest privilege of my life.